Shooter stand by, fire! Damn. All right, shooter stand by, target! Nice, get your 360, check your 360, check your behind you. Um, so technically when you're walking backwards, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're, you're feeling with your foot so you don't trip. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna scoot, we're gonna feel heel toe. All right, if we're gonna walk backwards. Now in this drill, we are walking backwards um, because we want to keep our rifle rifles face down range. We're assuming our threat is coming from this direction. In and the idea, what, what I'm what I'm teaching you more so is the mindset of continually looking for work. Look for the threat. Look for. Um, don't stop your fight. Don't get tunnel vision on the bleeding victim because it's really scary and interesting and and he might get back up. That is a possibility, but that needs a glance in about eight seconds. You need to check you need to check everything else. Um so if he falls down, he stops doing what he's doing. The idea is we don't shoot to people kill people, we shoot until they stop. That's the absolute what we do. So if he stopped attacking you. That is no longer the threat, but you need to make sure he doesn't have friends. I'd say about half of shootings, ha there, there's multiple people there. Um, so, so there's a high likelihood that he may have a friend or a girlfriend. Um, definitely watch out for girlfriends. They, they sneak up on people a lot. Like uh, bite too. So. Yeah, let's try... Oh, let's try a fun drill. Okay. <laughs> Keep knocking down targets. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be our shoot target. 100% this guy is trying to kill you. This person, you're not gonna know until I tell you. So this is gonna be a shoot or no shoot target. I'm gonna yell out shoot or no shoot. Yeah. So, this target you are going to identify as your shoot, you're gonna, two rounds to the chest, one to the head. You're gonna to look to this target. Now if this target throws its hands up and says, I'm not a problem dude, I have no idea what happened. Don't shoot him. If this guy goes for, starts reaching and all of a sudden you see a gun come out and he starts fumbling for it, he, yeah, I mean, shoot him, right? So where do you want me? Do you want me in here? Um, for ready, this guy, you're gonna you have the full pointer. press out. You're gonna be all fully right. out. So, um, so this guy's gonna be retention, head, it's gonna be turned. So you're just gonna come straight, straight to this guy and you're gonna ask him the question by pointing a gun at him, are you a threat? You're coming at me, are you a threat? And so I'm gonna tell you whether or not he's a threat. So when I tell you, you're gonna act accordingly, okay? If he's a no threat, I want you to point it at the ground, but be ready, okay? Because he's the biggest threat. And then I also want you to check your other six because there might be somebody else. He might not be the threat, but he might be a good enough distraction that, that he might be the threat. So the idea is, I mean, you just never know the situation is very liquid. I don't want to bring a lot of fear or fear mongering or whatever. I just want to teach the idea of shooting and then, and then looking, and then being aware, spreading out your awareness. Immediately, the awareness, most people, they, they, they get tunnel vision on the violence that happened, and the training that you want is to remove that focus off the violence and, and, he, and try to get as big and broad and, and professional of a picture as you can um, so you know how to continue your actions until the police come, until we're done. So, uh, so shoot this is definitely going to be a shoot target, so I'm going to be a shooter stand by, target, and then I want you to sight in on this one, and I'm going to call shoot or no shoot, okay? Alright, so uh, just making sure this is shooting from retention still, right? Yep. Alright. Okay. Shooter stand by, target! Shoot! There it is. Nice. Where'd you hit him? Ah, uh, right in the chest. Okay. Put it again? Sure. This is awesome. So this idea is that we're gonna get some cognition, we're gonna get some, some you gotta pay, paying attention to your environment 
and see how things are kind of working together, right? So sure to stand by. Target! Ah. Uh, keep going, keep going, you're in a gunfight! No shoot, no shoot. Check your sight, check your idea. I don't care how you messed up, you're in a gunfight. Unless you shot yourself and we needed to stop training. Alright. Alright. Wanna do it again? Sure. What did you mess up? Why'd you say darn it? Um Hold from retention, I immediately held on to it. That's fine. You can actually hold from retention. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. You can come here. All right. Yeah, you can come here. I, I teach it a little faster. Uh, I just kind of simplified it for you. But yeah, you can definitely, you can you can shoot from here from retention. That's, a, that's okay. All right. As long as you don't accidentally bring your hand out and then start for some reason, put your hand in front of it. Like if you're tucked in here and you go to grab your gun, but you get in front of it, before you come back, that's not where you want to be. So I teach grip chest instead of grab chest because I want this out of the way before you make a decision to engage the pistol. Does that make sense? Yeah. I want you here, here, not here. I don't know where it's going. Not a good place to be, okay? So the whole chest thing is just uh, another redundant system to keep you from shooting yourself. Yeah, yeah, but but it's 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 good training. We're talking about super stress. We're talking about somebody coming at you with a knife. You want muscle memory to keep your hands out of the way of the gun. Now, it, when you get into more advanced training, you're gonna start doing stuff like like push, shoot, push, shoot, shoot. Don't point the gun out. Push, shoot. So push, 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 shoot. And, and move to shoot too, so move like, uh, let's do another fun drill. You got, you got rounds? I got five. Okay, so we're gonna do a movement, a little bit of movement, we're gonna add another level. So this guy's running at me, one of the most important things I can do that I should have probably went over earlier is move. Standing here and trying to grab my gun is not the smartest thing I can do. Actually, even if that guy's got a knife, the better idea is to get my hands up and defend because getting my arms cut off is fantastic getting my slow throat slit open not such a good day so if i if whatever i can do to grab those knives no matter how bloody i am to get those things off me and get them away to so i can get to my gun if i don't have time to get to my gun i don't want to race him if i know i'm going to lose the idea is you don't necessarily know when you're going to win or lose the race but you don't i can't be this close to a guy and him be like, hey, are you talking to my girl? No, no. And him grab a knife, him grab a knife, and pull it out of, let's say, a fixed blade knife out of a holster, I will die if I try to go for my gun. I don't have time. So I know that. So I need to do something before I start going for my gun. So I'm probably gonna try to use both my hands and hope this one doesn't get cut up very much. Um, but the, 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 the very next thing you wanna do, there's also some other stuff I might do, but. And it depends on how fast my brain is. I'm probably going to be very reactionary as opposed to falling backwards and doing a roll and shooting from the ground. Like, I mean, essentially, am I loaded? If I'm smart and I know what I'm doing, so I'm here, this guy's this close, he pulls out a gun, he has to, he, or pulls out a knife and he has to come at me and I want him to change directions, right? So go ahead and give me shooter standby fire. Shooter standby fire. Damn. So that's an option. If I'm smart, if I think about it, if I want to go to the ground, I got I can do that one time. The chances are my brain is not gonna tell me to fall down if he's got a knife. But I'm gonna train that to try to do it. But we'll see, we'll see if I can perform something that technical in an instant. Um, drawing I can do pretty well, assessing and trying to combat I can do pretty well, but thinking about the ground or, or more creative angles, I think that might be a little bit above my level to be honest. I have the skill, I don't know if I have the muscle memory. So but what I want you to do, this is what I want you to do. So he's there, I want you to draw, okay? And I want you to step and shoot, okay? So do, e either way, you're probably gonna step towards your weak side because you want to want a circle, right? Circle's gonna be good. So if you change directions, now he has to change his OODA loop. So he's coming, like, here. Go ahead and stand there. He's coming at you, and you step to the side. Now I have to change directions, change my momentum. That gives you time. Time is everything. So you gotta, like, I recommend 
once you start learning the pro, like you just learned how to fire from retention. So now learning how to move and fire from retention is a bit of a, it's, it's more layers, it's more layers, we're learning more. But, so we're here, draw, move, okay? So as I'm drawing, I move. Yep. All right. So, I mean, if, if it takes you a long time to draw, you're moving before you're drawing. Don't, don't wait to move, don't, don't stand here, draw, and then move. That's not what you want, okay? That's definitely not what you want. That what moves the first the whole point of moving. So you want to be moving and drawing. And and the longer it takes you to draw, the more you move. So let's say it takes me, we'll say eight or nine seconds. I'm gonna go super slow motion on my draw. Okay? So I was moving all the way until I got to my pistol. So, but yeah, you do wanna do it simultaneously. You don't wanna stop to draw. 